All right then, so, guess we can get started. Hello, daybreakers and gamers. I don't really have a proper intro for this because it's not really one game I'm playing. But this is my last, um, my last little uh, video game tryout. I'm trying out lots of um, different games from the uh, Ukraine bundle on itch.io. Got tons and tons of games and there's many that I want to play I guess we have the controller here that's good so I'm gonna play uh, four games for like an hour an hour each uh, half an hour each rather um, and then after that I'll see which ones I want to play more of and which ones I don't want don't want to play any more of sound good okay so we're gonna move over to main screen turn on and we go into the void and Jack is here good I see you in here you're good I hope I'm going through okay I watched um one of my old streams on archive and I my voice is very quiet so I, I'm hoping it's not so quiet now and um especially like the game audio is also very quiet so I turned up the desktop audio in Streamlabs a little bit um let me know if it's Jack says you're good okay um Anyways, the first one we're going to play is right here. It's called a Short Hike. Oh, damn it. I forget. It's, for some reason, this opens zip files in VLC. I don't know why. Extract all. There we go. So I play up until my next ad break, and then I use the ad break to set up the um, the next game. Oh, oh, right there. Thank you. Thank you all. Anyways, let's play a short hike. This seems like a very cute game from what I saw from the trailer. Also, I have the mic a bit higher up now <laughs> because I don't think that I think that's why it wasn't picking me up so good before. Press Z to start and use controller. Okay, okay, yes, yeah, good. Uh, options, graphics, pixel size big and crunchy, medium rare, small and tasty, tiny and sharp, minimum. What happens if I do minimum? I don't see any difference. Um, resolution all the way up baby we can handle it come on why why aren't you changing okay I don't know why it doesn't change um, green borderless wait no true full screen there we go and now I can probably yes perfect okay good um, Oh, it, it changes the... Wait, no. It doesn't seem to change anything. <laughs> like... Okay. That's big and crunchy. And that's minimum. I don't see a difference. Do you see a difference? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with minimum. Image quality perfect, shadows perfect, edge outlines enabled, color correction enabled, V-Sync. Yeah, okay, good. Um, that's fine. Gamepad. Uh, left stick to move. Uh, Jack, not, <coughs> not really, though. I can't see the entire box anymore. Wait, what? What do you mean? You can't see the entire box.
like the text box that comes up for the menu. Weird. It shouldn't be cut off. I have it on display capture, so... Do you see all it all now? Jeff. Oh, okay, good. Sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So just before we start, just to make absolutely sure, can you see the entire game screen? Do you see a short hike at the top? Do you see new game options and quit at the bottom? Yes. Good. Okay. Let's start then. Let's begin. I never get tired of this view. Claire, you're going to have a great time here this summer. I think. I think it'll be good to get away from the city. I need to move the mic down a bit because I can't see the screen. Oh, hey Zoe. And take a break from everything else going on. Are you still awake? Mm, maybe. Hold on a little longer. We're almost at the ferry. A humble original by Adam Robinson U with music by Mark Sparling. Yeah, and we little this little crow um, person. Hey, can I talk to you? Uh, sorry, I'm trying to make good decisions, but the bad decisions are shiny. Um, uh, decisions about what? Hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you all day. You've been busy? Uh, kinda. Well, not really. I've just been waiting around for a call. Well, there's your problem. There's no reception out here. Wait. What? Yeah, I mean, pretty much no reception. Uh, sorry, Pokemon. If, if you... Shiny Pokemon are always a good decision, I think. <laughs> you might be able to get some Hawk Peak. Oh, yeah, I guess. Uh, that's pretty far, isn't it? It's not that far. We've all made the trek before. I figured you would have gone already. Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to go, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> that's a mood. Well, today is, today's as good a day as any. Just take White Beach Trail and head north at the fork. Then follow the signs for Hawk Peak. No problem. Hawk Peak really is wonderful. You're going to love it. Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. It's quite a hike, sure. But our family has been going there for generations. Yep. The hot springs at the peak create these amazing updrafts. The feeling of flying up there is incredible. But isn't it kind of dangerous? Not really. It'll be no problem for you. Hmm. So what kind of call are you waiting for? Oh, um, you know. The thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Don't worry about it, dear. I'm sure it'll all work out fine. I think. A nice hike will help you take your mind off it. Ah, sure is a nice day. I love it here, you know? Yeah, it's nice. The city's pretty good too, though. It's got cool events, great food, and also cell phone reception. We'll get reception too soon, you know? They're building a new radio tower. Oh, that'll be nice. Ah, uh, it's so lovely here. I could sit here all day. And I will. <laughs> okay. Now your dialogue's finally loop. Okay. So, I need to get some cell phone reception because I need to await a call about the thing, whatever the thing is. Can I land on this? Okay. <laughs> nice, all shiny. You found a shell. Hey. I don't know what that does, but it's cool. <coughs> it's a collectible in a video game, which means I want it. Yeah, you can glide. I think it said like B to run, that, that didn't really do anything. 
Um, oh, shell. It sparkles in the sun, but is otherwise pretty boring. Cell phone. It's useless without reception. Not even the games work offline. Of course they don't. White Coast Trail. Ranger's Cabin. This is Ranger's Cabin. I can't really go in, I think. Doesn't give me an option to open the door or anything, so I might as well just proceed, I guess. Ooh. Oh, hey. Claire, did you know? You can hold A while running to glide through the air? Of course. Everyone knows that. Yeah, I press A to, to glide all the time. Why do you ask? I don't know. I just had a feeling you might want to know. Um, okay. Wait, uh, how do I glide again? You hold A while running, dummy. Cool, just making sure you haven't forgotten. I never forget anything. What's it like? I'm a genius. Okay, one last time. What was that thing you said? Hold A while running to glide. Okay, thanks. Seriously, just one last time. <laughs> Hold A to glide. Okay, I promise I won't forget. Just one more. No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no more! <laughs> I already like this game's sense of humour. I don't know if there's actually enemies in this game or not. What's your deal? Hey, hey. Hey you! Find me 15 shells! What? Why? I want them. Yeah, but why? It's a secret. Heh, <laughs> okay. I'll keep an eye out. Keep both eyes out, please. So what's the deal with the shells? It's none of your business. Except for the business of you getting me 15 of them. Okay. Well, I'll have a look out for shells then. I found one so far. Oh, there's another one. Hey, 13 more to go. Oh, Jack highlighted best. Oh, sorry, wait, so it's K to glide? Um... Jack highlighted a message. You silly kitty, I just know you're going to forget eventually and when you do I'm going to tease you so hard. <laughs> uh, Ranger's Cabin, White Coast Trail. Yeah, I can't open that. What's down here though, I wonder? Ooh, hello. What are you? Ooh, we found a coin. And there's another shell. Hey. Three. Ooh, and a stick. Oh, so I have a weapon, so I can fight. C coins. It's money. Great for buying stuff and feeling secure. Yes. Stick. A wooden stick. Not sure why I picked this up. Hey, you gotta have a stick. You know what they say. Speak softly and carry a big stick. Ah, so many places to explore, so many things to do, so many people to see. What do you do? Hey Claire, how's the day treating you? Well, I'm just getting out of the house now. Ah, it's one of those kinds of days. Yeah, I've been kind of caught up in my head all morning. Hmm, would you say you feel lost and directionless? Uh, maybe. Well, I've got just the thing for you. Take this. Ooh, a compass. Nice. To use it, press Y to open your inventory. Then select it from the items menu. Oh, uh, thanks. This should come in handy. Happy hiking! How do I use my compass again? Just press Y to open your inventory. Then select it from the items menu. Ah, right. Thanks. And then it just does that again. Uh, compass. Tells you which way is north. Select a toggle on or off. Yay. Uh, that helps, I guess. Okay, that just loops around, loops back around here, so... See, I didn't forget. I can glide. And there's money. Yay. 
Can't jump up there. E oh, that was too low. Okay. Um. Okay, I can get. Wait, can I? Uh, oh, I can swim. Okay, that's good. Ooh, I, can, I swim pretty well for a crow. What am I? <laughs> Some kind of bird. Thanks for lending me the compass. I'll get it back to you when I'm done my hike. Jack, I was wondering if maybe Zoe and I should remind you more, you know, so you don't forget like a silly little kitty. Hey. <laughs> uh, oh, nah. Just keep it. You know what they say. It's good luck to know which way is north. Uh, do they say that? Actually, I'm not sure. But it certainly can't be bad luck. It's same dialogue. <laughs> yeah, I don't forget things that easily. Come on. Much. All the time. Yeah, more money. Also, who are you? Hey, dude. What's happening? Oh, uh, you know. Just jamming out on the beach. Building sandcastles and whatnot. Sounds like a good time. You know it. Can I borrow your shovel? Sorry, bird. I need it for sandcastle construction. Isn't it a little big for that? Yeah, but that's just how shovels are. You can get smaller ones. Ones made for sandcastles. What? <laughs> Sounds fake. But if you can show me one, I'd be glad to trade. Hey, dude. Keep it fresh. Sure, I guess I need to find a shovel. Oh, there's another shell. Nice. Eleven more. Oh, there's another one. Hey. Ten more then. Hey there. What are you up to today? Uh, I'm hiking up to Hawk Peak. That's a tough hike. You know, you'll need to learn to rock climb to make it to the top. Why not join our rock climbing club? Oh, uh, is it just the two of you? Hey! The Rock Climbers Association has hundreds of members spanning over 35 countries worldwide. Hundreds of members growing and refining the art of rock climbing. Pushing the craft to its absolute limit and beyond. Uh, I meant, if it's just the two of you, like, here. What of it? Listen, kid. Climbing ain't for the weak of heart. Most people... Don't have what it takes. Um, it's not really that bad. So anyway, you want to join the Climbers Club? Sure. Great. We've got our third member. Not third, just another drop in the hundreds worldwide. All right, all right. Anyway, so first things first. You got a golden feather? Oh, not yet. Ah, you can't climb without one. But you can buy them at the visitor center. They should be pretty cheap. Come back when you bought one. Okay. Hey. I've heard some rumors. Do you like rumors? I dabble. Okay, hear me out. Jim just bought a metal detector. He was running around yesterday. Looking for stuff around the island. It was going not so. Seems like there's stuff buried all over the island. What kind of stuff? I don't know. Metal stuff? Like coins? Jim doesn't actually own a shovel. So, he wasn't able to dig any of it up. Okay, so you want to hear another rumor? Sure, why not? So Deborah was up at Outlook Point the other day. She said that when she looked through the binoculars, she could see a mysterious island. How mysterious? Well, I'm all out. That's okay. <laughs> Just looking around for shells and stuff. And there's visitor centers up here. Let's see what I can find slash buy. 
over here. Hawk Peak Trail, notice. Hawk Peak Trail is a strenuous hike. You might need golden feathers to complete it. Golden feathers are for sale at the visitor center. Oh, I guess I went the wrong way. Oh, there's a golden feather. I don't think I can get up there though. Yeah, no. Ah, here we go. Howdy, how can I help you? I heard you sell golden feathers here. Ah, we do. You can buy one for 40 coins. I don't have enough. What else do you sell? We also sell provincial park merchandise. We're kind of low on stock. But that's good, actually. It's been a busy season. Provincial parks must be trending or something. It's possible. Anyway, we only have one hat left. It costs 100 coins. I'll pass. Okay. Nothing much. Yep. That's how it goes. Let's see. Okay, so I need more coins so I can buy this feather. Ooh, there's money here. Ooh, nice. I always have enough now already. Uh, where do I get a shovel from, I wonder? Maybe the, the, the one who wants shells will trade me for a shovel. Sorry. Oh, I can swing like, to attack. Okay. Excuse me, do you have the time? Um, yeah, let me check. See, normally I would know the time. I just lost my watch. Oh, um, sorry. It was very expensive. And priceless when you consider the sentimental value. I see. If you find it, can you bring it back to me? Sure. Please don't sell it on the internet or whatever. It's very valuable to me. No, don't worry. I'll bring it right back. Okay. Thanks. So I just want to check my time remaining. Okay, nine minutes. We got enough time. Whoop. Oh, also, what is the time, by the way? It's 12.33. Oh. Oh, that's actually the time on my computer clock. Ah, oh, nice. I like when games do that. Oh. Yay, now I have enough. Now I can buy the golden feather. Ooh, I wasn't paying attention. Hey. I buy a golden feather? Sure, here you go. Ka ching You found a golden feather. Let me explain how they work. If you press A while in midair, you can flap your wings for a double jump. But that's not all. Oh, Jack. I bet if you get to the right vantage point, you can just get the one that's on the cliff there. Oh, <laughs> a little too late now. But um, yeah, most likely, but sorry. <laughs> But that's not all. To climb a wall, push against it and hold A. The more golden feathers you have, the more you'll be able to climb and fly. Oh, okay, so that one will still be useful for me. Have fun out there. Golden feather. Press A when in midair to jump. Hold A when facing a wall to climb. Oh, a shovel. Found a toy shovel. A cute little toy shovel. It's too small to be useful to me. Now I can bring it back to the one who wanted it. And some more coins while I'm at it. Uh, sorry, and press, was it J to glide? Ah, <laughs> uh, you too. Okay. 
Now I can see the phone better. No, it's Q. Sorry, duh. Who are you? Did I talk to you before? There's going to be a marathon race at Meteor Lake today. The competition this year is fierce. My nephew is running in the marathon. He's been out training all morning. If you see him out there, make sure he's taking breaks. Also make sure he's drinking lots of water. Never overlook hydration. Yes. Hydration is important. Uh, Jack, right, I remember you press X to wage war. Wait, wrong game. <laughs> Jack. That's right, you press X to doubt. No, that's not it. <laughs> no, you press X to Jason. Duh, come on. Get with it. Hey, I got a feather. You got a golden feather? Yep. Great. So, to get started, you can try climbing this short wall here. Jack Jason, who's Jason? Someone I should know about. Um, I was making a heavy rain reference. Uh, sorry, you press F to pay your nope, still not. <laughs> yeah. Jack, I was joking by, I know, I was joking by sounding like he was like seeing someone, ah, okay, oh, sorry, my cat's, Oh yeah, it's press A to not die. No, that's Mario. <laughs> okay. How long is this going to go on for? I hope forever. Just push against the wall and hold A. Sure. Also, three minutes, okay. Nice one. Whatever. That claim is easy. Real pros use the big wall. I guess I need more feathers for this. Yeah, I need more feathers. Hey, I got you a shovel. Hey, check out the shovel I found. It might be a little more your size. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Let's trade. You found a shovel. Yay, now I can dig things up. When you want to use my shovel, press Y to open your inventory and equip it. Keep it fresh. Ah oh, heck, my productivity is going to skyrocket with a shovel like this. I'll catch you later. I've got a lot of work to do. <coughs> That's the same. Shovel, what's buried beneath? Press B to dig. Yeah, I'm a treasure hunter, baby. What's Sid Beach? Have I been there yet? Oh, it's this place, okay. I 
I just kind of, I just want to explore all over this place. Shirley's point. Ah, <coughs> oh, there's another shell. How many coins do I have? 27. Oh, hey. You. Oh, that's the same. It's that guy. Okay. Or girl. I don't know. Ooh, cave. The way forward is blocked. Okay. Guess I need an item of some kind. Planning on hiking to Hawk Peak, but the path suddenly got really steep. Also, okay, so time to stop. Do you think it's climbable? Well, it would be if I had a golden feather. Apparently, they sell them at the visitor center. Okay. Well, that's all. I definitely want to try more of this game. This seems awesome. Very fun to play. I kind of got really absorbed in it, so I save and quit and put that on the playlist. So, I'm going to do a quick ad break while I set up the next game. Uh, Jack Cute, a little bit of Animal Crossing vibes. Yeah. Extracting a lot of files. That's it done. Yay. So this next one we're going to play is one I, f I was very interested in. It's called Baba is You. It's a, it's a puzzle game, but it's got a very, very cool mechanic. Oh, uh, Jack! Oh, I know this game. Yeah, I figured you would. It's quite, it's quite well known. Like I'd heard the the name, like from time to time, but I never actually like played it or like saw anything about it before. But basically, you can like. You can make things happen. Oh, sorry, it says BRB, okay. Um, you can make things happen by, like, making and changing words. So, so you have, like... This is just a demonstration. I'm not actually doing anything right now. Mm. 
And then Baba is you. Hey. So yeah. So you like Baba. So you see like the. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but um, you see like Baba is you. Flag is win. Wall is stop. Rock is push. So you just push the rock around and get the flag. Congratulations. Uh, that's the first one. Baba is you. And level one. Where do I go? Uh, start pause. So, wall is stop. Baba. Yeah, and then you can push that. So, like, wall is nothing. And you can, like, rearrange the, the words and stuff. <coughs> So I could, I could even make like wall is win if I wanted to. And then I just touch a wall and then I win. So you can really like mess around with it. And it's kind of like, it makes me think of scribble noughts in a sense. Because that's basically like you can do anything. And there's so many different ways to, to do it. And it's like very much based on creativity, which I love. I love this concept, honestly. Now what is this? Level 2. Uh, wall is you, flag is stop, Baba is... <laughs> okay, yeah, you could even change, like, who you are. Um, so just move that out, and then... Um, uh, what should I do? Uh, a jack. Crab and crab is crab, and jack is crab, and crab is not crab, but crab is crab, and crab is you. That's right, you were the seventh worst video game enemy the entire time. What a plot twist. Where's that from? Flag is win, and then we go. Boom. Like, there's so many things, so many ways to do it, it's so cool. Number three. Level three, out of reach. Uh, Jack Wampu, I love his random little April Fool's bits. Uh, I figured it was him, I couldn't remember his name though. So yeah, Baba is you, wall is stop, water is sink, rock is push, flag is win. Um. I already know what I'm going to do. I love it because it's like, it's like I'm just cheating the game, but I'm not cheating. This is actually how the game is meant to be played, and it's so good. It's like, oh, you want me to, to do a really complicated maze to finish the game? Nope, I'm just going to change the win condition. Boom, I'm done. <laughs> Level four, still out of reach. Flag is win, Baba is you, rock is push, skull is defeat. Okay. Um, <laughs> I can't get to the skulls because they're surrounded. So, uh, but I can do. Uh, I can't. I can't do this either. They, they do get. They do get clever sometimes. Like I can't move these, so I have to get to the flag. And that doesn't do anything either. Um. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, oh, I, ah, I have an idea. I'm going to restart. Ah, darn it. I moved too far. Um, undo. Can I do this? I think this will work. 
Nope. Yes. They pushed that out of the way, so now the skulls are harmless, and now I can grab the flag. Yay! Okay. Level 5. Volcano. Wall is stop. Baba is you. Rock is push. Baba is melt. Lava is hot. Flag is win. Yeah. Um... I can't move past here though because if I if I do that then I then I don't hmm oh I can I can just do that yeah so, um, and I can't change barber is melt or lava is hot Jacks will push it from the side yeah like that yeah I uh, yeah um, I have an extra lava here. Um, I'm not sure what I could do with that. Rock is lava. Maybe I don't. Know. I don't think that would help much. Um, lava is push. I don't think that would help much either. Um, I could try it though. Lava is push. Ah, it actually works. Well, nice. <laughs> ah, I love this. This is so fun. It's it's so fun to come up with the solutions. Level six off limits. Wall is stop, Baba is you, rock is stop, skull is defeat, flag is win. Okay. First of all, get rid of that so I can move through here. Um. Hmm. Oh, can I... <laughs> Wonderful, okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. L7, grass yard. Baba is you. Grass is stop. Flag win. We don't have an is though, so it's not complete. Um... I, like, you, <laughs> I can't move those because um, if I do then I stop uh, but ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh I can't get through oh wait, wait. Um, Jack it doesn't say wall is stopped this time oh true it doesn't okay do that I can't move that because then that'll that'll stop me from being me and I won't be able to move or do anything uh. hmm Hold on. Hmm. Jack, can you not carry the is over? No, because if I break that sentence, then I won't be able to move, see? Because Baba stops being me, so then I can't do anything. Not that one, the grass. 
Um, no, because it's against a wall and in between these two things, so I could only move it as a unit. And even if I can move it up and down, I can't get on the right side of it to push it left. can be attached to more than one thing at a time, yes? Oh. Uh, no, apparently not. Unless. So push win around and put it on the is you. Yeah, I, I was in, trying to do that, but I couldn't figure out a way to, to get it up there. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm slow. Apparently that doesn't work. It's the same as... Because, yeah, I win, but I can't touch myself. So I can't... <laughs> July, shush. Right, so do it vertically. Jack, yeah, I win, but I can't touch myself. <laughs> Twilight LV2 2022. <laughs> this is still not working. Um, let me start. Oh, I have an idea. Jack, now if only you could put something on top of that to specify a win condition. Oh hey, would you look at that? Why did you do that to IXD? You had it. I have another idea though. I don't know if that... Uh... Okay, let's, let's go back to where we were. flag is in oh okay now I get I get what you want me to do but I've I've trapped the flag so I have to start again uh. yeah see I'm not good at puzzle games I'm not smart Jack, you are smart, you're just a silly bean. Uh, yeah, <laughs> often. But I'm sorry if it ever gets frustrating or anything. Uh, what's this? The lake. That's a different thing. Need three flowers. I don't have any flowers. How do I get flowers? Was I supposed to be doing something? Oh, this is a different area. Uh, icy waters. Wait, hold on, go back. <coughs> Rules, Baba is you, flag is win, yeah. Okay. <coughs> was there something I was supposed to be doing <coughs> in these levels? 
Baba is you. Welcome to Baba is you. I don't know how I get flowers. I hope I haven't been missing anything. I'll continue anyway. Here we go, the lake. Icy waters. Level lake one, icy waters. Baba is you and sink. Flag is wind. Jelly is sink. A jack, oh you aren't there yet, oh, okay. Well, now we have an and as well. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just, I had to. <laughs> okay, so I can get across there, but there it still says jelly is sink, so and I can't do anything about that. Wall is stop. Flag is win. I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I meant restart. Uh. Maybe I can. I don't know what this will do, but like. I don't know why I thought that would actually do something. I think this game relies on players making the wrong assumptions. Oh. Ooh, that did something. Oh yeah, because I can... I can do that, can't I? Grab the flag. Nice. Okay, checking my timer. Ten minutes left. Good. Level Lake 2 turns. Star is sink. Rock is push. Got an and. Wall is stop. Flag is win. Jack, yeah, so the blossoms, flowers, are earned when you get all of the spores in an area. There, it just said one out of eight, so get eight out of eight, you get a flower. Ah, okay. don't know what that did. <laughs> I d I'm just... It, uh... Wait, hold on, I got an idea. No. Oh. 
no, that won't work actually. Um, I was gonna put like stars, push, and sink, but I I don't know why why I thought that would do something. Um, yeah, it does have wall to stop. Hmm. Oh, ah, uh, maybe. Yes, that's how you do it. Okay, whoops, <laughs> that's not how you do it. I can just go through them to do this, whatever that did. I think I have to restart. Hold on. Oh, I see what to do. Uh, let me let me try and figure it out. I can get rid of the skull at least, so I know how to do that. If I could get, ooh, ooh, I've got an idea. like you baby <laughs> level lake 3 affection I need more affection than you know KK is move love is push algae is defeat Baba is you love is win oh wow Jack, good job. I'm glad you figured that out. Thank you. I can do it if if I try. So I have to wait until one of these just decides to push the heart out or go into algae or something. Okay, they just move up, up, down, or left and right, so that's not going to do anything for me. Ooh, hold on. But... <laughs> I'm too smart for you, game. Level Lake 4, Pillar Yard. See, the thing is that this game really rewards you for thinking out of the box, and I'm not usually so good at that, but when I can do it, oh, it feels good. 
Alright, well the top pillar is push, flag is win, star is defeat. I don't know if this is actually going to work, but I'm going to try it. Oh, you can't move the flag. Okay, never mind then. We start. Ooh, 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 I've got another idea. <laughs> I'm getting good at this. Two minutes. Okay, so I'll probably do one more level. Brick wall. Level lake five. Brick wall. Jack, very clever. Thank you. Uh, oh, this is zoomed in. Well. Wow. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> why did I think that was going to do anything? If I turn, if I change flag to flag is you, I'm just trapped because I can't do anything about that wall is stop thing. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> I can't become one of the words, sadly. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, we're out of time, so... This, yes, this, I'm definitely making more of this. Making more of this? I mean playing more of this. Um, but yeah, seems fun. So, a little ad break while I set up the next game, and then we get right to it. I think you're gonna like this next one, Jack.
Okay, I'm just waiting for the ads to be done. Then I will proceed with this game, Night Call. Ads are done, yay. Okay, so Jack says, oh, I see what to do in that puzzle. XD, that's a little little mean. Oh, um, because I'm, for curiosity's sake, what were you supposed to do? Because I honestly can't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. Anyways, well, well, you're right, this is Night Call. It's sort of a film noir style uh, detective murder mystery story. So I figured this would be just the kind of thing you like, Jack. I hope at least. So, options, uh, resolution. All the way up, come on, we've got a top of the range PC, we can handle it. Uh, Jack, you push the is win to be vertical so it reads Baba is you left to right and Baba is win up and down. Ooh, I don't think I would have got that. Maybe with a lot of time and experimentation. Uh, Jack, ooh, this sounds interesting. E, I hope you like it. Um, oh, right click apply, okay. Uh, new game. Start. File 1. I think this game has voice acting, if I remember right. Choose the investigation. So we have, we can do whatever we want. So we have the judge. Victims have all something in common and the motives seem clear, but which suspect could have done it? Balanced case, perfect for a first run. Jack, ooh. Hee hee. You want to play along, Jack, or do you just want to watch? The Angel of Death. Random victims, unknown motive. Weird case, slightly more difficult than the others. The Sandman. The victims may feel random at first, but there's a connection, yet the motives might be hard to find. Dark and twisted case. Surprise investigation. The game will randomly pick an unsolved investigation. Uh, Jack says, I'll watch, but I'll be going along in my head, so feel free to use your phone a friend lifeline. <laughs> okay. I'll I'll call on you. Um and like really any any advice or thoughts or help you you might want to offer is very much appreciated. Because you know I'm not so good at these games and you're much better at that much better at them than I am, so I may need your help on this one. But I'll see, how, I'll see what I can do on my own first. So, let's start with the judge, because it says it's the easiest. Uh, Zoe, Angels of Death, Heart Eyes. <laughs> oh, nice. Choose the difficulty mode. Story, money will be easy to get by. The investigation will be easier. Every action will take less time for a chiller experience. Balance, the way Nightcore was designed. Hard, money will be tighter. The investigation will be harder to solve. Every action will cost more time for a cha more challenging experience. I'll go with balanced. Bit choppy, but I think that's just how it's designed. Yeah, because that's smooth animation there. Oh, what is this it's supposed to look like? This it's very choppy movement. Oh. Night call. That's smooth there, so I guess. And no, just in certain scenes. Uh, I can do auto mode, okay. Hear. Wait, is this. Sir, can. Hear me? Or do I need to speak up? Uh, 
Yeah, speak up. Is this okay with you? Is my voice loud enough? Yes, it's fine. She takes a deep breath. Sir, you just spent two weeks in a coma. The word bounces around your head. You need a moment to understand its meaning. Coma? The word scratches along your throat. Yes. You were the victim of an assault. The word resonates in your head. Victim? You are aware a serial killer is currently on the loose in Paris. You feel the contents of your stomach crawling up your throat. The judge, as the police call the killer, assaulted you. The bullet touched your liver and in most circumstances it would have been fatal. We chose to put you in an induced... Her voice becomes more distant, fades. You taste bile at the back of your mouth. Your head is burning. You hear a whistle in one ear. Your fingers move to your wound. Underneath the bandages, you can feel hard skin. It is incredibly painful. Did they... I'm sorry. Did they... catch... the judge? No. What about my passenger? He was dead before you even got out of your cab. The doctor is silent for a second, a very awkward second. She hesitates. The police would like to see you as soon as possible to ask you some questions. After all, you're the only one who survived the judge. Noise in the hallway attracts your attention. You try to turn your head, to no avail. You need to rest. She leaves the room. Her voice resonates in the hallway. I don't care, he's the only witness. He's... Another female voice joins in, a strong, authoritarian voice. You can't clearly make up what she's saying. A strange feeling washes over you. It's not pain, not fatigue, some odd combination of the two. Before being in this hospital room, you'd never realised that anger was made up of a combination of pain and exhaustion. Anger. A feeling you know all too well. Days go by and a month later. Night one. Well, look. I've got a bit of a problem. A real problem, that is. You have a pounding headache. It's your first night behind the wheel since... Since the attack. This guy kind of looks like Harry from Disco Elysium. Are you listening to me? You catch your boss's eye in the rearview mirror. Yeah. He stares at you for a second or two without speaking. Sometimes I wonder what goes on inside your head. You always seem so far away. I'm listening. Okay, okay. He's watching you closely, trying to make out what's going on in your head. You know I'm worried about you, don't you? I know. You're like a son to me, you know? I know. And you know he's about to tell you the story of his taxi fleet, again. When my father died and left me the store, I could have sold it. I could have retired, gone back to the old country. I'm gone. But I decided to start a cab fleet with the money he left me to hire the guys from the neighborhood. And that's why I've got 45 guys like you working for me. His hands flutter in the air. Though none of them are any match for you. He smiles. His voice suddenly takes on a serious note. Do you want me to go over everything again? He points to the equipment on the dashboard, the meter, the GPS. You haven't been in a taxi for weeks. Maybe you do need, need a little refresher. Yeah, good idea. Right then. Well, first the map. You spot potential customers and try to guess where they'll be going. Then you decide. When a customer orders a taxi, if there's no one else around, you have to go pick them up. He shrugs. That's the way it goes. It's business. No problem. The other fares, you look at the map and decide whether or not you want to take them. 
and then you drive. He flashes a quick mechanical smile. You know it well. When he talks about work, he talks about work. That's all. When your shift is over, we do the numbers and his voice trails off as if searching for the right words. And that's all. It's pretty simple. There's no reason why you can't do it. All right, no overtime. We're in France here and there are rules, regulations. You might not see it that way, but no one likes having a driver who hasn't slept for 24 hours. He looks away. Something's been bothering him since he got into the cab. Anyhow, you know the ropes. You get it. I know you're going to do a good job. What's the matter? Your boss keeps quiet for a while as if he's hesitant to speak. And then... I don't think it's a good idea. You shouldn't be driving. The murderer is still out there and we think he's going to come back. For you. Uh, we? Your colleagues. I do too. Anyway, I'll let you get back to work. Every minute spent in your taxi is a minute lost. He gives you a smile, half ironic, half serious. Good night. Same to you, and good luck. He'll spend the rest of the night dealing with problems and drivers. You wonder how and when the guy ever gets any sleep. Your boss opens the door and exits the cab. You watch him cross the street and enter the fleet garage. A couple of colleagues are milling about. Taxis are coming and going. They all ignore you, consciously or unconsciously. You are branded. You sit there a moment, then turn the key in the ignition. The hum of the engine sends a tingle down your spine. It's impossible to describe how you missed that feeling. It's back to the night shift, back to life. Despite the attack. Despite it all. This is very noir. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess I, I pick a customer and then... Um, I'll go with this one because he's closest. Peter DJ Watson Corvello, Port de Versailles, distance 6.9 kilometers, fare 23.46 euros. Hmm. I'm sure. The door opens and your passenger collapses into the back seat. His eyes are hidden behind a pair of large dark glasses. His clothes reek of sweat and booze. A clubber. He mumbles his destination and you start driving. A few words are exchanged. The weather, taxes, traffic. Then, you can tell it's coming. The inevitable conversation about the killer. Some bits of information, rumours, things overheard. You make a mental note of what you've heard. Who knows, it might come in handy. Your mind wanders. Your eyes vaguely scan the store windows. The sodium light coming off the street lamps feels like it's dripping into your brain. You're falling asleep. You need a bit of music to keep you awake. That's a good passenger. You glance at your passenger. You mind if I put a little music on? He waves his hand as if to say, who cares? You turn the radio on, pressing on the dial to find a station you like. 80s rock ballad, too soft. Behind you, your passenger is snoring. Barely, but you can hear him. Gregorian chant, mind-numbing. Some slow rap song filled with fake female orgasm noises. Not with a passenger in the car. <laughs> Two journalists discussing new evidence in the investigation into the judge's murders. The information they share, silent talk, nothing more, seems important nonetheless. An ad interrupts the torrent of words and you change the station. Classical music again. The flute grates on your ears. Electronic music. You like the rhythm, but just aren't in the mood. Stop. You lift your hand from the dial. The music plays on. Not bad. Turn it up so I can hear better. I didn't want to wake you. His voice sounds like it's coming from a deep cavern. I wasn't sleeping, just sobering up. He leans forward. Not bad at all. 
You hear the touch of an accent, probably an American, but someone who's lived most of his life in France. Leave it on until they say the musician's name. The music continues. There's something turning in the background, a persistent melody that gets higher and higher. Your client mumbles. I bet. The song is coming to an end and the announcer, in a piercing foghorn voice, throws out the name of a DJ you've never heard of. DJ Blunt. I knew it. You famous? Uh, you like his stuff? Yeah, it's a good product. It's pretty conventionally structured, but it's super popular. He snickers. Still. I taught that dude everything he knows. Everything. In 94, at a party at the Rex Club, there was this kid who started buying me rounds. He waves his hand around. A kid, no older than 17. I thought he was hitting on me. He chuckles. He would have been disappointed. He shakes his head. Nah, he wanted me to teach him how to spin. I told him no, but you can watch. And that's exactly what he did every week until we moved to the Osiris. He sold X to pay his way in. He briefly snickers. And now he's on the radio. Silence fills the cab. Weighted silence. You can tell your passenger's mind is spinning. You know what he did this summer? He was the opener for the soccer championship at Stade de France. It was huge. Wonder what people would think if they knew he was selling drugs at 17. He lowers his voice a bit. If they only knew. Your passenger clams up. Uh, keep an eye on the road. You notice a woman crossing the street at the crosswalk. She speeds up as she walks by two men talking loudly. We ran into each other in Ibiza four or five years ago. You almost jump at the sound of his voice. I was spinning in this little club. Yeah, really little, but it was something. He totally ignored me, of course. Even with those dark glasses, you can see how angry he is. DJ motherfucking cunt. He suddenly starts waving his arms around. He rummages through his pockets as he says, Uh, your radio. Can it take a flash drive? You glance at your radio. You don't really know what he's talking about. Uh, I don't know. No worries. He lays his phone in the space between the two front seats. Listen to this. It's what I played tonight. It's mine. He sets his phone to play. But, you know, people were barely dancing. A drum machine playing a hard-edged beat in the background. They were talking, taking each other's picture. Four notes start to dance in the cab. They barely touch, never kiss anymore. A perfect dance beat becomes progressively audible. All that, a purely electronic crescendo plays, is over. There's a break in the music. Synthesized strings calm the song down without slowing it down. At least, the song is getting intense again, explodes as your passenger drifts off. I got people dancing. The song keeps going for another minute, then stops. Your passenger doesn't budge. You drive to the rhythm of his snoring. The sound fills the cab. Ideas are bouncing through your head like they do every time you find yourself alone. This guy in the back seat is too old to be young. You look at your own hands. They look like they're suddenly aging in time lapse. You close your eyes a second. Oh, don't do that. Fall asleep. Only a second. When you open them, you've reached your destination and have pulled over to the sidewalk. Impressive. You tap your passenger's knee and he wakes with a start. Shit, yeah? We're here, sir. Ah, yes. Great. He rummages through his pockets and hands you a few rumpled bills for fare. Thanks. I hope you liked it. Silence. The music. I mean, my music. The song I played you. I should have been in the spotlight, you see? 
15 minutes of fame. Just a minute of... He stifles a burp. You hear him mumble as he leaves the taxi. Those whiskey and orange units really screw with my system. You see him stagger toward his building. It takes him several tries to get the door open. He finally disappears inside. You heave a long sigh. Okay, come on. Ooh. That was eventful. <laughs> That's more to do. Um... How about... who should we go with next? How about this one? Okay, there we go. Nadia Boulanger and Yves Kila. Alessia in the 14th. Sure. A couple is getting into your taxi. A couple like you've seen so many times before, attractive, a bit tipsy, drooping eyelids. He's already asleep, must be about 20, maybe more. She's still smiling faintly, like the evening has had a lasting effect on her. She's older, maybe 40, 45. Alessia, right next to the movie theatre. Very well. You pull away, leave the street. The neighbourhood behind, your passengers say nothing. When you downshift, you can hear the man's heavy snoring. The woman stares right at you. I beg your pardon. This may seem odd, but... What do we look like? I mean, he and I. What do we look like? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like a couple, a couple, a couple... Uh, I'll just go straight forward. A couple. Thank you. She pauses. I happened upon two friends who were making fun of us tonight. We could be mother and son. It's stupid. I... She hesitates and... Forget it. Let's let it drop. Sorry to have bothered you with that. No need to apologise. Thank you, that's very kind of you. I don't think I've ever met a taxi driver who was so... understanding before. I am serious. She watches you for a while. You can see the hesitation in her eyes. Then she turns her head. <sighs> Too defensive. I know the feeling. It's unhealthy. Not good. Not for me, nor for Eve. Her expression hardens. I love him more than anything, you know? People think... They want to think he's some sort of toy. But he's not a toy. I did not choose him because he's young and chic. I love him, period. Can you understand that? Um, I mean, I wouldn't... She's kind of opening up to me, so I guess it's fair. Open up. More than you think. What do you mean? Uh, Jack R. Hmm. I get what you're going through. She looks away. She regrets what she just said to you. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But now that she's started, she has to finish. I... I don't really know how to put words to what I actually feel. I... She takes a deep breath. Her throat shakes from all the air. Outside, the reflection of an interior design store appears in a frozen puddle. I think the problem is me. I don't need a mirror to see it. He's young, he's handsome, he's filled with energy from morning to night. My joints creak. I lose a fraction of eyesight as each year passes. I got lost on my own street the other night. I have a burden on him. Don't say that. She smiles coyly at you. You're not a shrink. I shouldn't, you know, unload on you like this. I think I've said enough. Far too much. You have been remarkable. Thank you. 
A few minutes later, you reach their destination. You pull up to the sidewalk. Your passenger plunges her hand into her bag and stops. What if... She shakes her head. No, forget it. She pays the fare and as she is putting her wallet back in her bag, she hands you a bill. A hundred euro bill. Would you mind using this money to take Eve to a hotel? I don't have the will to do it myself. We need to put an end to this. He deserves someone else. Her proposition leaves you speechless for a while. I'm serious. Are you sure? No. I mean, I know this is right, but... You should talk to him. He'll just say... Say... She shakes the bill. He'll say he loves me just the way I am. That he doesn't want to be with anyone else. He'll say the same thing he says every time I try to talk about my feelings. It's... Do you love him, though? Because if you love each other, then it's fine. It shouldn't matter about the age gap. As long as you're both consenting adults, then it's fine. The bill is lying between the seats. What if it's true? What if it was true? Yes, if he was telling the truth. If he was in love with you despite, despite all your faults. She pulls her arm back. But he keeps saying it. The money goes back in her bag. A car passes on your left and pulls over next to you. The driver asks if you're leaving soon. One minute. You turn to your passenger. I've got to go. You should do the same. She seems horrified by her behaviour. I'm so sorry. You wave her off. It's nothing. No big deal. A second later, she's walking into her place, holding on to her partner. Yeah, yeah, I saved the couple from breaking up. He hasn't even woken up. You smile, wondering what he must have dreamed about. You'd like to have similar dreams. You let the other car pull in and go back to your shift. Hey. The door suddenly opens and a woman gets into the back seat. Ooh. Having a good night. For a second you freeze. It's one of the cops working on the judge's case. She grins at you. Her voice creaks. You remember seeing her at the hospital. Something already bothered you about her there. You know, it's actually pretty crazy. For weeks I've been saying to myself, there's something off about you. Something not so nice. I dug around, mulled it over, bugged all my fellow cops about it. Because I was sure you lied to us. Let her keep going. She has a cold sneer on her face. I'm going to be frank with you. She leans over to you. I don't think you're the judge. Nah. I just can't picture it. She squints like she's trying to make you out from far away. Like you've gone to the extent of hurting yourself. Yeah. Between us... It's a bit of a stretch. She stares at you. But not enough of a stretch for my chief to stop going on and on about you. Seriously, he talks about you all the time. If I didn't know better, I'd think he had a crush on you. She smirks. No, no. I think he's more interested in your profile. In prison at 17. An icy chill fills your gut. And for murder, too. Ooh. That's a, that's a plot twist. You open your mouth, but nothing comes out. Since you got out, you kept a low profile, but you're lying about your name and your address. I checked. It's normal, you'd say. If they get word of your time served, no loan for your permit, no lease for your car. Meaning, no second chance at life. Her voice becomes softer, almost warm. Jack, oh, I get it. Maybe that's why this serial killer is the judge. And sorry, miss, what have we told you about murdering people? I didn't do anything. I personally like guys who want a second chance. No, I like guys who fight for a second chance. 
Basically, I like guys who are willing to work for me. She leans forward, her shining cat-like eyes narrowing. My chief wants to go to the prosecutor with the first and last name, with evidence. Actually, knowing him, he's not so hot on evidence. So, I'll give you info. Victims, suspects, medical reports, some photos that are a bit... She makes a gagging noise. You have to be discreet. Keep it between you and me. Interrogate. Ask questions. Dig around. I'm not a cop. She shrugs. Don't worry. You're already keener than half the squad. And don't forget. I'm not asking you to make an arrest and deliver the killer wrapped up with a bow in front of the station, okay? You're no Batman. You're just here to get me more information. She rummages around in her pockets for what seems like forever. Here, take my card. I'll call you in three, four days, just to check in. We'll chat. And I'll let you know if I have any new info. She takes on a didactic, paternalistic tone, like she was giving you a list of recommendations for the hundredth time. Don't get caught, don't get arrested. Also, I wouldn't recommend trying to leave Paris. I know what you look like, and I know who your friends are. You can either be the solution or the problem, my friend. She takes a minute to scan your face, your emotions. If I have to, I'll go check in on you-know-who. Her smile is biting. That reminds me, she know you've done time. You shake your head, she snickers. Oh, my little dirtbag, you cover your tracks well. I did what I could. Yeah, if you say so. She sighs in a tired, exaggerated way. Don't try to mess with me, man. If things don't go well, I'll turn you in. I'll send your picture to all my friends in the media and every asshole in Paris. Your picture with your name on it. Your real name. Anyone close to you will have their places searched. They'll be put under house arrest, spend nights in jail. You have any idea how tense things are with that fucker's trial underway? You sigh. You know just what she's trying to get at. Kind of think of it. Your last names are almost the same. <laughs> you could be brothers, actually. I'm nothing like that son of a bitch. She smiles. Let me tell you, with that face of yours and your handle, they'll welcome you with open arms. You have no right. I know. I know you have no right. She takes on a serious tone, businesslike. I want to catch this killer personally. I want to drag him to court, ruin his fucking life with a bang. I can't botch this case. You got me? And neither can you, right? Obviously. Well, great then. We see eye to eye. So you can just say you're my informant. My CI. You ripped open your gut. You saw your own insides. You were in a coma. Yeah, you have plenty of reasons to want to get back at him. She furrows her brow. Yeah, I think you're actually going to do what I tell you to do. You investigate, ask questions, listen to all the rumours, and you come up with a list of suspects. She lays her hand on the door handle and freezes. Oh, right, and don't get fired. Without this cab, you're worth nothing to me. You glare at her. I'd rather not antagonise her. <laughs> She puts her hand up and you can hear the words behind it. This conversation never happened. I'll make sure you get more intel tomorrow. I'll find a way. Until then. Not a word to anyone, obviously. Not a word. The door opens, squeaks and slams shut. <sighs> Fucking bitch. You sit alone for a while, teeth clenched, dry eyed, ears buzzing. Shit. On the back seat, the cop left a pile of papers. Shit. Key in the ignition. Motor running. Radio on. Crackles. You turn it off and start driving. Talking to passengers might unlock new documents and clues for your investigation. You will find them back at your studio after your shift. Ooh, six clues discovered. Nice. So, I guess I'll 
so I'm at home now. Uh, Jack, yeah, we did get a couple earlier from the radio. Yeah, true. Yeah. You take a second to enjoy the silence of your studio apartment. Outside, the city is slowly waking up. You can still hear the hum of the taxi buzzing in your ears. You throw the files Busset gave you on the table. Busset, I guess, because Busset, because it's French. On the wall, you hung up the big cork board where you used to pin up photos, photos of your nephews. They've been gone since you got out of... Your plan is simple. Jot down all the pieces of evidence and connect them to the suspects. The guilty party won't necessarily be the one with the most evidence against them, but the one with the most compelling evidence against them. It's like you're building a story about each suspect. Trying to understand their motives. Understand how he or she got into this situation. Steps in the hallway. They stop in front of your door, then move away. It's time to get moving on your investigation. Okay. How much time have I got? Ooh, it's already over. Okay, this seems like a good place to stop. Um, I'd like to continue this. I think it seems fun. It seems interesting. It seems like a good story. Um, so, last ad break and then we do the last game for today. It's a run. Uh, that's a done. Yay. Uh, can't seem to get this game to play for some reason. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe. No. I, uh, I have to get steam cereal. What's this? Okay, don't know how to get this game to play. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll skip that one then. So I don't know how to make it work.
So let's try this one instead. Let's go wait for it to download. Sorry, I don't know why that, that other game didn't work for some reason. Maybe there's some extra things I have to do. Please install the file somewhere you have write access, such as not in the program files folder. Well, it won't go in there anyway. Let's close some of these windows. I think I've, I think I already know. Like next week, I'm going to start playing these games like seriously, and I. I pretty much already know what game I'm going to start with. <laughs> but you'll see. I think you can you can probably already guess, but you'll see when when we get there. Jack Wonder song, right? <laughs> yeah. It was that obvious, was it? I can't help it. I just love that game so much. It's just the most adorable thing I've ever seen. And I, again, like I said, I really hope it stays that way. I really hope it stays that adorable. I really hope it doesn't suddenly go all dark. Like freaking Lost Words. I mean, Lost Words was a good game, don't get me wrong, but I was not expecting it to be such an emotional punch in the face <laughs> ah, sorry I I usually have the games downloaded like ready to go but I don't know why that game just didn't want to play for some reason so let's go wait for this one to download and this one was quite weird I I thought like I saw it and like yeah I'll give it a try um, but I don't know um, what it's going to be like, really. Okay. So, extract. Yeah, to the downloads. So, not, not to program files. As administrator, Let's run anyway, and yes, this work. Yay! This one works. Kit Fox. I know those people. I think. Don't remember who they, what they made, but I've heard the name. Moon Hunters, Eternal Echoes. This is all pixely. So we are not forgotten. Not yet. Welcome then to what remains of the stories we told about the moon. For thousands of years the truth lived inside each person. Jack R. After the sun wars the many facets of reality collapsed into one place. One hard truth. I am a keeper of the leftover fragments. If you can remember more legends, perhaps we can undo this damage. I will store them and keep them as best I can in this temple outside time. Okay, so... Let's try options first. Uh, difficulty, let's go over easy, why not? Resolution. Maximum. Bye. Uh, <laughs> hey. Uh, what? I don't know what that does. Okay, let's just go new game. Oh. Right. This is a four-player game. I can't play it. Good. Okay. 
I forgot about that. <laughs> I didn't re realize. Um, I th it says for one, two, four players though, so. Didn't it? I thought I could play it on my own as well. Jack Silverline, you can play Wonder Song sooner. <laughs> yeah. Um, didn't it say for one, one, two, four players? Did it, I thought it did. Online. What is this? Huh. Oh, maybe I just. Could I just wait and see if someone joins? Uh. Spellblade type quick, trained in the high mountains. Ritualist type ranged, manipulator of mathematical magics. Druid type wild, shapeshifter with a fierce heart. A oh, jack I forgot, sorry, it says play alone or with friends. Ah yes, yeah, so I can play it. Witch type strong, channels blood magic into raw power. And then unknown. Um, I think I'll go for ritualist because she's purple, I like purple. Uh, Hedwana. Um, can I not? Okay, just confirm. Ready, three, two, one, go. Where are you from? Dust folk, desert tribe that relies on the seeker of waters to survive the harsh summers. I think that's the only one I can select, so I'll go with that. We remember something oh. new with each telling. Together, let's tell the story again and again. Of those five fateful days when the sun cult rose against us. The heroes are different every time. The world changes every time. Journeys end, but stories live on. How will you be remembered? Long ago, in this land we call Asaria, our heroes were just travelers trying to find a way home. Jack, ooh. Welcome. Isaria is a generated world, so it is different every time you play. You have five days to solve the mystery and find the moon. It will take a few tries. When in doubt, have a friend join your adventure. Good luck. Yes. We're nearly out of water. We need to find somewhere to camp before the first moon feast tomorrow. Yes. I don't know, they follow me, I guess they're the thing I have. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. <laughs> oh yes. They're... They're my only friend. They're not my only friend, but they're little glowing friends. But really, they're not actually my friend, but they are. Oh, I can shoot them. That's what I do with them. Do anything. <laughs> okay. Um. Abilities: Dex, Dark Orb, Magical Blast, Enemies of Dark Energy. Y. Void Pull, Magical Trap, Enemies in a Pool of Dark Energy. B. Teleport, Warp Space to travel faster. Oh, so that's like a dash. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Oh, hey, are you friendly? <laughs> I don't know what my accent did then. Um. The seer beyond stone. May I be guided by the great mother and the pale dancer in consecrating this stone and my travels. Okay, I can only talk to you once. Okay. Mm. Oh, here's a well. I guess there's no water in the well. Uh, talk, but. You hear a strange, sad chanting. It seems to be echoing from deep in the well. A pack of belongings has been left outside of it. Call out. Oh, 
Hello? Is it safe to come out? Have the Owls of Death passed back behind the mountains? Uh, yes. A man crawls out of the well with a smile. You feel a bit more compassionate. Thank you for the good tidings, friend. Perhaps I'll see you at the first moon feast tomorrow, where there will be no calamities. Yes. Yeah, of course there won't. Ooh, reputation, new trait, compassionate. Stats. Ooh, okay. Reputation, compassionate, your kindness warms others' hearts. Good, that's how I want to be. When the twin owls of the pale dancer fly by sunlight and ill wind blows. Okay, you just say that again. Okay. Do you know where I can find some water? Because I really need to find some water. Oh, they do have HP. Whoa! Getting me. No, no, no. That was tough for the first enemy. Jeez. Took some damage there. cook with honey for this and all future journeys. Nice. Honey is tasty. Camp. You sure you want to camp for the night? Uh, let's look around a bit longer. And see if there's anywhere else I haven't explored yet. Jack it is. Yeah. Although I don't think there is. I think I got... I think I went everywhere on the map. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, let's go camp. You begin to camp for the night. Outskirts clear. Long ago, before she became a hero, Herduana was a sharp student of shadow magics. The suffering of others was known to move Herduana to tears. Kills for death zero, outspoken. It seems safe here. Let's set up camp. Okay. Can I cook something? Choose your ingredients. Hmm. Water and rice. You start to mix the ingredients together. You've discovered a new recipe for fluffy rice. Fluffy rice gives everyone plus three endurance. Nice. First moon feast. Bizarre. That's what it says. Lahamu the merchant. Ah yes, a hero of the ages. That's you, certainly, yes. <laughs> Especially when you spend your opals. Oh, upgrades, nice, but I don't have enough, so. I like the music, really. Whoever did the music did really well. Is he would ignore you deep in prayer? Okay, I won't bother her then. Jack, it is nice. Okay. okay, that's the same room. Okay, so they both lead to the same place. Got it. it reminds me of Neo Automata bit actually the music I mean
The elders ignore you, comparing the achievements of their grandchildren. Perhaps someone more prideful would join the boasting. I don't want to be prideful though, that would be nice. Amisar, the Keat Keeper. One of the Keats was born with the mark of a sun on its back. I haven't told anyone. What if we're cursed? What should we do? Watch Keat. Amisar looks relieved and agrees easily to wait and see. What did that do? I don't know. Goat bone the mender. I have some delicious leafy shoots and herbs to sell, but you'll need at least 50 opals to buy them from me. Which I don't have, so... Damu the camel boy. The first moon feast is going to be the best. Cakes everywhere. Hey! hey. <laughs> the camel grunts, pawing the ground. Maybe someone can teach you to speak with animals. Says that again. Seeker, it's time to start setting up for the first moon feast. Are you ready? Not yet. I'm gonna make what preparations you need. I'll be here. I'm gonna look around more. Talk to more people first. Kirisha, mother of three. Well, aren't you a cutie? And the soft-hearted one too, I hear. Just how I like him. Um, distract. I should have guessed you'd have your share of admirers. Sorry to bother you, sweetie. You have a good feast now, hmm? What was that? Snake. Oh, I to do that, sorry. <laughs> um. Kubele the Witch. Huh, nice name. I was chosen to be the Seeker's apprentice. I hope I can learn the blood arts well enough to deserve the honour. I'm sure you'll do fine. Started. The village has been looking forward to this. The village gathered to feast and watch the moon rise. Everyone sang into the darkness to welcome the full moon. But she didn't rise. The singing stopped. Panic spread across the village. Jack, oh. Everyone be calm. This must be part of the goddess's plan. Hedwana, you've been our protector in years past. What do you plan to do to bring back the moon? Uh, find the priestess, I guess? Good idea. A priestess may know what happened, or maybe even a song that could help bring the moon back. You gain plus five faith. Helpless fear hisses through the villagers whisperings, each tries to comfort the other. I think the singing is backwards. Sounds like it. Their whispering grows even quieter as you approach. They wait, staring until you leave. You. You! You told me there were good omens, that the calamity was averted. What have you done? Sorry. So you're the culprit behind all this? I should have known. You carry an uncanny connection to entities outside this world, don't you? Jack, interesting. I will find a way to undo your evil. In the name of the Queen of Heaven, I will bring her back. You trait, patient. Your calm is nearly med meditative. How are we doing on? Eight minutes left, okay. No, he's gone. Oh, well. The camel's eyes are wide, its ears quiver. Maybe someone can teach you to speak with animals.
The Queen of Heaven has abandoned us? But why? What have we done? I don't know. Oh, look. Here the dust folk bury their revered dead, consecrated by tears of the goddess. Without the Queen of Heaven's guidance, how will we find the water we need? You could always use a dowsing rod. The spirit speaks in a tongue that sounds like the wind over sand. Guess I can't talk to spirits yet. There's an exclamation mark there. Look. The Queen of Heaven spreads her wings over the dust folk village. The dust folk say the moon is the rightful ruler of the cosmos and all its creatures. They say she echoes in the laws of our conscience. You trait, proud. You tend to boast and take charge. over here. The mangroves. There's another sp oh. oh crap, that was a wrong button. Mulberry toad leaps away at your approach, a ribbit sounding in its wake. I still can't talk to animals. Oh, a crocodile. Probably don't want to get too close to that one. Uh, are you the same? Oh, you're gone, okay. Or an alligator, I don't know. Thirsty Scald. This is where I was before. Oh no, this is new I think. Yeah, this is new, because there weren't bones in the place I was before. The spirits. Still can't talk to them though, so... Um The weeping and gnashing of the spirits tickles, feathery at the edges of your mind. Soothe. The spirits all turn towards you. The spirits sink into the sands and return to the underworld with a dry, rasping hiss. You gain compassion and three endurance. Oh, nice. So I helped them out after all. That's good.
kind of hard to aim sometimes. There's no real lock on thing. At least not that I know of. Goddess heals your wounds. Yay. Okay, I think I'll stop here for now. Thanks for playing. So then, this was fun. So we are not forgotten. Yes, blah, blah, blah. So he says, thanks for the stream. Yeah, of course. Jack, oh, this is a good game. I'm glad you got to stream. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Um, I do my last little ad break and then I do my final thoughts and then we all end for today. friend and I'm a little glowing friend but I really I'm not actually your friend but I am blue canary in the other bed of light switch who watches over you make a little bird house in your soul not to put too fine a point on it say I'm the only bee in your bonnet make a little bird house in your soul Got a secret to tell from my electrical well. It's a simple message, and I'm leaving out the whistles and bells. So the room must listen to me. Fill a buster vigilantly. My name is Blue Canary, one note spelled L I T E. My story's infinite, like the Longines Symphonette. It never ends. Blue canary in the other bed of light switch Who watches over you? Make a little birdhouse in your soul Not to put too fine a point on it Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet Make a little birdhouse in your soul <laughs> While you're at it Keep the night light on inside the birdhouse in your soul Jack, adds it on, yeah Okay, sorry So I was entertaining myself until you got back So I played a lot of fun games this weekend, um, mostly good. There's only, I think, one that I didn't want to continue, and that was Fatum Betula, and that was only because I um, really did, I found it really creepy, I'm sorry. Um, like, it was genuinely creeping me out just playing it, so I didn't really feel like I wanted to play any more of that. Um, 
I might look up a playthrough of it just so I can see like what happens because I am kind of interested but I'm just way <laughs> no thanks but the rest yes the rest were very very good um some better than others of course some of them were like okay yeah this is fine but I probably would get bored of it if I played it for too long but others are like yes 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 I do want to play so uh next next weekend I start uh resume n normal streaming and I'm definitely going to play Wonder Song first that is my first my first game I'm going to play um come on that wasn't a surprise to anyone right then I think uh I'll probably play Figment after that um then then maybe in most because as also kind of creepy as that Jack not at all here yeah. as also kind of creepy as that game was I did find it very quite fun to play it was fun to explore it was fun to um to to solve puzzles and figure things out and and all that and I'm actually really interested in the story for that one as well because it was just so so bizarre and so confusing but also kind of like really captivating in a way so I'm very um I'm very much looking forward to playing more of that I actually um I'm a bit ashamed to admit but I did um just because I was interested and because like I didn't want to look up stuff but my curiosity got too hard to resist okay so I, I looked up a little bit about in most to see if I just looked up to see if it had a tv tropes page and it does um and like pretty much all the examples are spoiler tagged <laughs> so yeah <laughs> I didn't learn much um what I did learn is that there are three different characters there's um sorry curiosity and jack oh cool um Yes, there. So there are three different characters, and and the gameplay kind of like randomly switches between them at various points. There's, oh, sorry, we know what that does to cats, but satisfaction brought it back. Don't forget that part. Um. Uh. Yeah. So there's three main characters. There's, uh, Adam, the ma man I was playing as for most of my last playthrough of it. Um, Jack, but satis, oh darn, it's why you beat me to it. Hee <laughs> hee. Um. Yeah, so there's Adam, the the guy, uh, there's Elizabeth, a young girl, who I don't think I've seen yet, and there's another one who's just known as the Knight, who's the one we saw in the intro. Um, and also, I rewatched my playthrough, and I saw a bit I missed before, uh, when, when the woman gets attacked by the darkness in the beginning, you see the Knight appear at her door, just before the darkness, like overwhelms her i didn't i didn't notice that when i first played it because i was too busy freaking out um but yeah i, f I feel like that's something <laughs> kind of an interesting detail but yeah definitely want to play more in most but we do wonder song first so we start wonder song next friday then probably do figment after that and then in most and then i'll decide whatever happens in the future so Thanks for coming with me on this journey, Daybreakers. I will see you next Friday, um, or earlier if I decide to stream some Crash in the weekend, in the weekend, in the week, because I'm still doing that kind of, sometimes, occasionally, very slowly, getting through Crash 4. Um, but those those streams are completely optional. That I don't usually even do commentary on them, because it's just such a side thing. I just want to get it done. Um... And it's usually just me trying and failing to beat the same level th for three hours straight. So, yeah, you're not missing much if you miss those. Um, but I'll see you next week and on Friday at least. So until then, take care, Daybreakers. Stay safe, stay positive. Love and peace. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>